Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you're here for today's video because we are going to be making some cardstock car freshies today and I am so stoked for these cardstock freshies because we are going to be using my own digital designs that I just launched on my website. So if you're ready to make some adorable car freshies with me, then keep watching. So for this craft, you're going to need your basic car freshie supplies. So some aroma beads, mica pigment powder, and fragrance oil. I already have my beads scented and ready to go. These are all the same scent, just different colors. So I am going to be baking all these together at the same time. And then you're going to need your cookie cutter or silicone molds. For today's freshies, I'm using these round silicone molds that I got off of Amazon. They are four inches wide and it came in a pack of six, but I am using four of them today for these round cardstock freshies. You're you're also going to need a pan to bake your freshies on, some elastic cord to hang your freshies with later, a smell proof storage bag for your car freshie if you don't plan on hanging it up right away in your car, and you're also going to need some roofing nails to create the hole in your freshie to be able to put the elastic cord through. And you guys know how much I love my glitter, so I'm using some chunky glitter for my freshies today. This is the Recollections brand. I got all of these from Michaels, so I'm using some various different colors for these freshies. And then you're also going to need a printer to print out your freshie designs. Now, you can cut these out by hand, but I'm using my Cricut today, and all of these designs came off of my website at creativelyerica.com. All right, guys, I'm super stoked to bake these freshies, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are on my website, creativelyerica.com. This is where I sell all of my freshie starter kits and now my digital designs. So you'll notice at the top there are tabs. If you are looking for the digital downloads, you just click that one. And this is where all of my designs are available. So I've already picked out some designs I'm going to be using for these round car freshies, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys all the different designs that I have. And I also want you to notice that I'm going to be using some designs that aren't round designs. Like for example, this would be a really good round cardstock design for one of those round freshies, but I'm going to show you how you could take like any design and turn it into a round cardstock freshie using your Cricut design space. So again, I've already picked out some and I already have them downloaded, but I just wanted to show you guys all the different options I have. I started out with 50 designs. Um, actually 51, but I'm going to be posting new designs every week. So be sure to check back weekly for those. Okay, so let's close that. And now I'm on my Cricut design space and I have a new blank canvas open. So now we are going to upload our designs. So I'm just going to go down here to upload. And as you can see, I already have some designs ready down here, but I'm just going to show you guys how I quickly did that. So once you've downloaded your design, they're going to show up in the downloads and you just select it, hit open, and then it should pop up here. I always hit complex if it's like more than a single color image, which this one has multiple colors. So I'm just going to hit that and hit continue. I'm just going to hit remove background because it should do it fine automatically. And then I just hit apply and continue. And you're going to want to make sure that you press the print then cut image option because we want to print out our design and then cut it out. And then you just hit upload. Okay, so there it is, which I already have it there, but that's okay. So I'm just going to select these four designs that I want and I'm going to hit add to canvas. Okay, and you'll notice that these are really big. So I have all of my designs selected here. You'll notice that they are really big. Well, we need to resize those to obviously fit onto our car freshies. So I'm just going to hit this little lock button up here. And that's just going to make it so where whenever I change the dimensions, it's not going to be all wonky looking and uneven and ruin like the ratio. So I have that locked and I'm going to change the width to all of these to three inches and hit enter. And then it's automatically going to resize all those for me. Boom. Okay. So now I can split these up. And you'll notice that two of these are like round designs. This one is kind of like a weird shape. There's not like a circle around that. And the sun is kind of round, but then it has all these points on it. Now I could just put this on top of a circle, but I kind of want an outline around the sun. I think that would look really cool as a cardstock image on one of these car freshies. 
This guy, I'm going to put him over a circle. And then these two, I just need to attach to a circle so that my Cricut isn't trying to cut out each of these letters individually and all that. So we'll start with our fries before guys design. I think this guy is so cute. So I'm just gonna hit shapes and I'm gonna go to the circle and I'm gonna change the size of this to three inches because our silicone round molds are four inches. So by making our design three inches, once we have the design all centered up on the car freshie, there's gonna be a half inch gap around it. And that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna change this to three and hit enter. Now I'm going to arrange this and I'm gonna send this to the back because I want this on top of here. I also want this circle to be white. So I'm gonna change it to white. So now I'm going to drag my design into the circle here. And then I'm just gonna kind of resize him to fit inside this circle. I think that looks good. So now I'm going to drag my cursor over the circle and our design, and we are gonna hit attach. Now, just attaching the design is not gonna prevent your Cricut from not cutting all of this out. So make sure you hit that flatten button. And now it's going to print and cut this out as one image. So it's gonna print our design on this circle and it's gonna cut out just the outline of the circle here. So now I'm done with this guy, so I'm just gonna move him aside and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, these two are gonna be really easy and we're gonna do it the same exact way we did our little fries before guys design. So I'm just going to go to shapes. I'm gonna to go to a circle. I'm gonna change that to three inches and hit enter. And since I'm gonna need another circle for this design, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that one. So now I have two circles. Now one of these I want to be white for our smiley face. And this one, I think I'll leave this color because it's almost the same color as our lines in the background of this image. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hit that circle. I'm gonna hit arrange, send to back so that we can line up our image. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Hit attach and then flatten. Okay, now for a design that you don't necessarily want a circle around it, like this one, I just wanna outline it. I'm gonna show you how I do that. You're just gonna hit offset and then you're just gonna change how big you want this outline. So you'll notice that there's like a faint blue line around our design. So you can just slide this little bar here to make it as thick or as thin as you want. And you can leave the corners rounded or you can make them pointed. I want them to be pointed to kind of match those triangles right there. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm just gonna hit apply and we're just gonna change that background color on our outline to white. So now there is a outline around our entire little sun here, but that outline is just like one of those background circles that we have. So make sure you drag your cursor over it, hit attach and flatten. Okay, so now we are done with that. So now we are ready to cut out our designs. So I'm just gonna hit make it. Okay, so now we are ready to put the cardstock into the printer, print these out, and then load that cardstock onto our Cricut mat to cut them out. So I'm just gonna hit continue, and then I'm gonna hit send to printer. Make sure the right printer is selected, and I always check add bleed, and then we're just gonna hit print. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit this medium cardstock as my material, and I'm gonna leave the pressure at default, and we are ready to load our printed cardstock onto our Cricut mat to cut out. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting my nails in my molds and this is going to create that hole in our freshie for our string to go into later. And now we're gonna be taking our cardstock designs and placing them face down in our silicone molds. And now I'm gonna take some of my chunky glitter and just put it around our cardstock design. I'm just gonna pour our beads right over our design.
All right, guys, now that we have our beads poured into our molds, now we are ready to bake these freshies. So I have my oven set to 300 degrees, and I'm going to set my timer for 12 minutes, but it's probably going to take a little longer than 12 minutes. That's just what I like to set it to so that I can keep checking on them from that point forward periodically until they're done. So I'm going to put these in the oven, and then in 12 minutes, we'll come back and check to see if they're done. All right, guys, so it's been 12 minutes, and I don't think these freshies are done just by looking at them, but this is how I tell if they are. So you just take your finger and poke the middle, and you see how these beads are kind of pulling up with my finger? That means that they are not done. They are so close to being done, but they are sticking to my finger a little bit, so we're just going to stick these back in for about another minute or two, and then they should be done. All right, guys, so it has been two minutes. So let's go ahead and pull these out. Oh yeah, I can tell just by looking at these, these look better, they are done. But we'll do our little finger test. Yeah, they're not sticking at all. All right, so these are good and we're gonna let these freshies cool off before we demold them. But before we do that, you'll notice that there are little spiky edges around the edges there of the mold where the beads have like sunk in where they melted. So I just like to take a little metal spoon and go around the edges just like so, pushing down all of those little spikes. And this just prevents you having to trim these down later. I guess technically you don't need to trim down your freshies. I just think they look a little bit better when they're trimmed. They look more finished and complete. So I'm just gonna go around that edge with the back side of my spoon. And you see how it's like nice and flat along that edge now. There's no more little spikes. Okay, so now that we pushed down all those little edges, now we're gonna let our freshies completely cool down before we are ready to demold them. All right guys, so our freshies are completely cooled down and I'm ready to demold them and see how our designs look on our freshies. All right, so now we're gonna take out our roofing nail and put our elastic cord through our freshies. So I'm just using like my little oven mitt here to just press the roofing nail out of the hole. All right, and now we're gonna push this elastic cord through that hole. And voila, this freshie is ready to go and hang in my car. All right, guys, that is where I'm going to leave you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoy creating it. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.